It's Menno, and for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a gay man, an actual male homosexual, and I'm so fed up with all this gender fuckery that's trying to tell gay men like myself to accept vaginas, vulvas, and clitorises into our sex lives. What? In other words, gay men are being socially coerced in some kind of bisexuality, lest we be called bigots and transphobes. If you're a gay man and you've never eaten vagina, grow up! If you're a cis gay man and you're afraid or disgusted by vaginas, you deserve nothing. And I hope you burn in the hottest circle of hell! Gay men have got to stop hating on vaginas. You guys don't know what you're missing. Like, really, you don't know what you're missing. Try something new! <laughs> It's been going on for a fair few years now. In my video, Do Gay Men Have Vaginas? I started looking at how this nonsense has crept in and somehow become acceptable when in any other situation it would be seen for the gay conversion that it is. And just the other day, a YouTuber called Davey Wavy, who's been beating the woo-woo drum for at least the last five years, released a video called How to Eat Pussy for Gay Men. Not straight or bisexual men, you know, the kind of guys who might be quite happy diving into a beaver buffet, but gay men. And I thought, man, we really should film a video about how to eat pussy. That's a good idea. I definitely need one of those. Specifically for gay men. Newsflash! Gay men don't eat pussy. <sighs> Just in case that's not clear enough, here's a song. If a man likes eating pussy, he's not gay. If a man likes eating pussy, he's not gay. If a man likes eating pussy, a man likes eating pussy. If a man likes eating pussy, he's not gay. Okay. What's next, cock sucking for lesbians? Oh, actually, that came first. That Davy Wavy video is yet another example of how this woo woo movement has no respect whatsoever for anybody else's boundaries. How we're all expected to see reality, ourselves, and our sexual orientation through their fucked up gender lens. 525,600 genders. Oh, so many genders. So just like them, we can start thinking of females as men and vulvas and vaginas as male genitalia. No! And what human rights movement has ever gone around saying, have sex with us to validate us? What kind of movement does that? That's not about civil rights. That's about sexual abuse and coercion. But hey, it's 2022 and trans needs to be validated at every single fucking turn, so let's throw the homosexuals under the bus. Most of Davey Wavy's video is about the technical side of eating pussy. I've got no interest in that, so I'll be skipping through all of those parts. I'm going to focus on how he's trying to sell us this homophobic bullshit. Davey Wavy, by the way, makes porn, and he's joined in this video by a woman who also makes porn and goes by the name Haskell Holland. I am Davey Wavy, and I'm here with Haskell Holland. Hey! Hey! Haskell's had her breast amputated. She's had a hysterectomy. She's taken testosterone, which means that her voice has deepened. She's grown facial hair, she's grown body hair, and her clitoris has enlarged a bit. Both of them want us to think of her as a man, even though she gets her twat out on Twitter for all the world to see. Now she may think that woman minus breasts plus testosterone equals man, but sorry love, humans can't change sex. And you're always a woman to me. And this is where I'm like, how can a person be so into having a pussy? Which from a video, you know, she clearly is as she gets it licked and slept and sucked and fucked while at the same time being in complete denial about being female. But I guess that's just how woo-woo rots the brain. Okay, so 
gay men, before you go down on a woman, like any good gay or would, don't forget to check if you can even call body parts by their actual names. Or you might just be committing an act of literal violence. Sounds fun already, doesn't it? Okay, so just to start with some of the basics, we're using the term pussy here, but this is not necessarily a term that everyone's gonna want to use, right? Absolutely. What would your advice be on that? Asking someone, what words should I use for you and what words should I avoid? Because you know that goes hand in hand. You should know what words to say versus the words that, you know, shouldn't come out of your mouth. Shouldn't come out of your mouth. Okay, so they're trying to control our gay mouths in two ways. One, whose genitals we put them on, and two, what we can and cannot say. So what words do you like using? I'm good with any of them. Pussy, clit, dick. Dick? Dick. 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 Look, it's a banana. Menno, that's an orange. No, it's, it's a banana. I said so. Okay, I'm gonna call her Humpty Dumpty from now on. When I use a word, it means what I choose it to mean, neither more nor less. Dick. And of course, Mr. Gay, you must never forget to perform that most sacred of rites in the Church of Gender. The pronoun round. And also kind of related to that, it's important to know what pronouns people want to use. So I use he and him. Same, he, him as well. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. You're a woman, so I'll call you she. So we have an orange here. This is gonna be our, our pussy. When you have sex with gay guys, like is there generally like a learning curve? Davey, this is not a learning curve, this is a gay conversion curve. Like, what have you noticed? Yeah, definitely, you know, um, I've been with some men who have been with trans men, and there's some people who haven't, but even if you do have the experience, it's still been different for everyone, you know, like, what I like is gonna be different from what other people like, so, there's always kind of a little bit of a learning lesson, but I appreciate it when people are familiar with my anatomy, at least. Familiar with female genitalia. But, you know, there's some people who have never been with a trans guy before. With a woman. Yeah, well, what advice then would you have for gay guys who have never eaten a pussy before? Why do you want gay men to eat pussy, Davey? You don't seem too comfortable at the thought of it yourself. Maybe that could be your next video. Practice what you preach. Then Humpty brings up an interesting point. And again, not all trans guys are on testosterone, so our bodies are gonna look different. This is true. Not all women or girls who want us to think of them as men take testosterone. Not all of them have their breasts amputated, and it would be rather transphobic or true scummy of us gayers to expect them to have any sort of medical or surgical treatment, which means there are no limits. Really? We'll have to accept all these Humpty Dumpties just on the basis of their say-so. Let's normalize trans men with breasts. Having breast tissue does not make someone a woman. Trans men with breasts can and should be attractive to gay men and welcomed in gay men's spaces. Trans men who don't bind, don't get top surgery, by choice or not, are just as valid. When there's no limits, it's impossible to have any boundaries or to draw a line. That's why we must hold the line and stand up for the integrity of what it means to be a gay man and call out the likes of Davy and Humpty Dumpty here trying to sell homosexuality down the river just for the sake of their porn exploits. A gay man is a male homosexual. Our sexual orientation is exclusive by nature and by definition and does not include females in any shape or form, let alone their genitals. Just because a woman calls her pussy a dick doesn't mean we have to go along with it. Dick. Okay, more technical stuff. What are some of the basics? Oh my god. Yeah. I don't wanna hear, I don't wanna know. Don't tell me to eat pussy And what the hell is wrong with you Just leave us gaze alone And this is where the gaslighting gets really bad What would you want cis gay guys to know about having sex with a trans guy? Cis Words like cis and trans are woo-woo words used to pull the wool over our eyes so that in our minds we start disconnecting man and woman from actually being male or female. To cut through that, simply replace cis with the word actual and when you see the words trans guy or trans man, simply replace it with 
girl or woman with identity issues. Just like a so-called trans woman is a guy or a man with identity issues. So now the question is, what would you want actual gay guys to know about having sex with a woman with identity issues? And we can just drop the actual, really strip it back. What would you want gay guys to know about having sex with a woman with identity issues? And suddenly it's much clearer how absurd and homophobic this question really is. It also brings into sharp focus that this coercion and the erasure of our sexual boundaries only serves to prop up some delusion in a woman's head. As gay men, we are reduced to nothing but extras in some woman's personal validation drama. Not just by using he, him pronouns, but by actually being told or expected somehow to perform sex acts on those of the opposite sex. So the answer to this question should really just be fuck off with your attempts at gay conversion. But instead, Humpty Dumpty ups the ante. Well, definitely to normalize it. There's that word again. Normalize. Let's normalize trans men with breasts. To normalize it. Normalize in this context just means completely flipping the script on what it means to be a gay man. And not see it as something so different than having sex with a cis man. With an actual man. The moment we start separating sex with a cis man and with sex with a trans man. Sex with a man and sex with a woman. The more you're gonna separate it into a different kind of section, you know? Uh, you're the one who started separating people into cis and trans. And it's the same sexuality. No, it's not. If you're gay and you have sex with a trans man, you're still just as gay as you were before. Stop lying and stop trying to rewrite what it means to be a gay man. Probably even more gay, honestly. What? They always have to take it that one step further, don't they? It's not enough to say, oh, it's the same, even when it clearly isn't. It has to be even better than the real thing. What could be more gay than two guys having sex? A man performing oral sex on a woman. Probably even more gay, honestly. And Davy just sits there. And look at that little hand gesture that she does with her manly hand. I'm a woman telling you what a gay man is. Talk to the hand. This whole thing about her wanting men who have sex with her to still think of themselves as gay men is a big thing to her because, you know, validation. She tweeted about it before. If you're a gay guy and you have sex with a trans guy, you're still gay. If you're a lesbian and you have sex with a trans girl, you're still gay. It gets worse. If you only fuck men and you fuck my pussy, you're still a fag. Again, there's nothing gay about a man putting his dick in a pussy. Also, she uses the word fag, which is a homophobic slur. <sighs> now, if you're a gay guy, you've only ever been with guys, and you're in porn, and you find yourself doing a scene with Humpty Dumpty here, she doesn't even want you to have the thought Ooh, I guess I'm not as gay as I thought I was, or perhaps I'm bisexual. That would be bad. See how this is all about mind control. In the end, the party would announce that two and two made five. And it's the same sexuality. Probably even more gay, honestly. And you would have to believe it. <laughs> so any gay man who wants to be kind and affirm her as a guy and call her he, him, this is a woman who's completely trying to erase what it means to be a homosexual man. Don't help her. She doesn't give a fuck about us. Davy's video has now hit 1 million views, which is incredible and quite a bit more than he usually gets for his videos. So I guess a lot of people went, what the fuck? It's had just under 3000 thumbs up, but 17,000 thumbs down. It has been so good to see so many people in the comments calling out how homophobic it is on YouTube, but also on Twitter and other places. I guess he saw some of the comments and he changed the title from how to eat pussy for gay men to oral sex with a trans guy. But that doesn't change anything about the video itself and he hasn't taken the video down. So I doubt that he's taken a moment to really think about what have I done with this video? But we all know that once you go along with the woo-woo, it's, um, it's hard to step back. So, let's wrap it up. A gay man is a male homosexual. We are same-sex attracted, and that's a beautiful thing. It's also a very 
exclusive thing in that it doesn't include females in any shape or form, no matter how they see themselves, how they wish to be perceived, what they've done to their bodies or not. Don't let people like Davy Wavy or Humpty Dumpty make you doubt yourself or think of yourself as somehow transphobic or bigoted or not progressive enough. They are the ones being regressive and depressive and they have no business telling us who we as gay guys should be attracted to to eat pussy or trying to tell us that a gay man eating pussy is gayer than a gay man sucking dick. They can go fuck themselves and leave the rest of us alone. I started this video with a quote from George Orwell's 1984. There is truth and there is untruth. I'm gonna leave you with a quote from Venice Allen. Trans rights means the right to lie about your sex. Transphobia is refusing to believe that lie. So that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, let's keep it real and keep smiling. Ciao. To all my PayPal and Patreon supporters, thank you so very much. Special shout out to my big spenders, Helper Open, Mama Turv and the Turvin Teens, Dark Horse, The Lovely Mary, Me Julie, Julia, JPH and Stephanie. Thank you.